at that. I ha- I didn't have a beard then. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's a pandemic beard. A pandemic beard. Um, no, I did have a beard then, by the way, but it was much shorter than this. It didn't look like Gandalf. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. So welcome, everybody. Great to see you here. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, that's just fine. Perfectly all right to do that. You can go ahead and watch on YouTube, but where you really should be is over here on be.net slash Adobe Live, because that way you can get involved with our lovely community and ask questions of our lovely guest. But some of these people on the community are incredible. In fact, for that, read 99.5%. There's just this one guy, Tony Harmer, is a bit dodgy. But we've got <laughs> Sean in there. We've got El Mady. We've got Jane. We've got that Tony guy, weird. Some guy called Tim. We've got Sandrine. We've got Angus, who had his birthday on Friday, by the way. There you go. Yes, happy belated. Well, I did happy birthday on the day, but anyway. Gareth (laughs) is here. Oliver's here. Fantastic. Stuart, I think, did I say Stuart a minute ago? Can't remember. Kirsty is there. So we've got all these great people for them to join, Hazel. Amazing. All the regulars, I see. Yes. Recognise all of those names. I know because some of them, in fact, the vast majority of them, have been coming along ever since the 2020 that we were mentioning just a while ago. Incredible, right? Amazing, yeah. It's so lovely to have everyone. Mm, That's really good. And the Adobe Live account has just popped up onto there as well. (laughs) That's that's, that's very handy. (laughs) That's that's new. Um, Anyway, AKA Tim. But (laughs) so, (laughs) I saw tomfoolery set aside just for a few seconds. Um, What are we doing today? Well, uh, today we're actually going to build on one of my favourite concepts um, to think about which is thinking about like those tiny things in life that make life a bit more enjoyable. Oh, so I've called yeah. it It's the Small Things in Life. Yeah. And I've started with a little list of things that people might enjoy, such as clean oh, sheets, I love such as taking the clothes off at the end of the day, Yeah, um, especially one for artists, extra sharp pencils, yes. cold, cold pint on a hot day, topping yes. up petrol and landing on a round number, Christmas I love that days. One. <laughs> Uh, yes. So I thought what would be fun would be to get the community to help fill in the rest of this. Ooh, yeah. So what brings them joy? Exactly. In the day? Like, but like those really tiny, perhaps mundane things that um, not aren't like big awards or aren't yeah. um, big achievements. It's like those little things that. Like, yes. Oh, yes. Like a nice orange or something. So like a band of penguins brandishing ukuleles, or is that just me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe you and Tim. <laughs> Me and Tim, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. So uh, Jane, by the way, in the chat is saying, end of the day, some of us don't even get into them. Well, Jane, you should, that, that's in for TMI, I think. For <laughs> Melanie's in the chat. Hi, Melanie. Hello, Melanie. Melanie divide. Yes, <laughs> fantastic. iPad fully charged. Very, Sandrine's very observant. She looks through all the little details in, in things. So come on, people. Um, dog walking. And dog tail wagging. Dog tail wagging's a good oh, one. Dog tail wagging. Should we yeah. start there? I think yeah. we should. And I've and yeah. So the theme is also uh, joy, finding joy in illustration. How to achieve joy in illustration. So I thought I'd come up with a joyful concept yes. and tell you also how uh, I find joy in illustration and hopefully communicate joy through yes. illustration too. So just a yes. lot of joy, joy, yes. joy, joy today. I'm a big joy <laughs> fan. So let let's let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sandrine, by the way, has also come up with uh, a bar of chocolate you forgot you had in the cupboard. Oh, yes. yes. Especially for those nights when uh, you think, oh, I've got nothing in. Yes. And um, you discover it. I've got the blue dot on today. Is that helpful or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, I always find the blue. Okay. If, I'm, if I'm doing these sort of things, I think the blue dot is helpful because that way okay. people know where you are and what you're doing. So yes. Okay, good. All right. I'm gonna start with this uh dog tail wagging. Do you have any pets, Hazel? I don't, but oh. I feel like I do because um I live overlooking a park. Oh, okay. And I get to see all the dogs in the park and I know that all the dog walkers meet at five o'clock every day <laughs> to go for their walk. So I can sort of spy on them from my balcony. Oh, oh wow. I'm uh creating a bit of a weird profile for myself right now as this dog dog spy but 
It is actually one of the highlights of my day. So I'm I'm... a secret dog watcher. (laughs) Epic. Yeah, do you? Uh, I've got pets. Yeah, yeah. I saw your mug's cat person. Yes. So you have Uh, pets? I have two cats and I have three dogs. Oh, wow. Oh, so you're sort of both? Yes. Do they all get along? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the (laughs) thing a lot of people remark on in when they come to our house is that there's just tons of love in our house and the dogs and the cats all curl up together. Oh. Sharon and I like each other quite a bit. (laughs) (laughs) That's helpful. (laughs) Always useful. You know that, you know, we sort of get on. (laughs) Just a little bit. (laughs) But no, that it's. I've got plenty of pictures of our our dogs all curled up. They're actually the dogs are actually shut in the kitchen today, um, for uh, operational reasons. Let's say that no, it's just they they get really stressed if there's work going on outside, so they're oh, shut in the kitchen. Oh no, fair enough. So they're there, um, and one of the cats is actually sat outside the kitchen door because she wants to cuddle them. <laughs> oh. Uh, she wants to cuddle the dogs yeah Aww. one dog in particular she really loves jesse which is our golden or yellow labrador and uh she they get on like a house on fire they're lovely oh, so sweet does anyone else have pets here in the, oh, got, in the chat yes Evie sure in the alive. chat. yeah dog loving this house too they're my favorites they never argue back <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there's, t- there's suddenly tons of stuff in that chat just there. I'm going to have to catch up. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Hopefully, lots to draw. Okay, I think. That's yeah. Oh yeah, plenty. Some sort of dog. I think. It makes... Do you need me to keep notes? I can keep notes if I... what I'll do is visual note. I'm just drawing yeah, a bar of chocolate. That'd be great. <laughs> I've just drawn a bar of chocolate or an icon that indicates a bar of chocolate. <laughs> a good cup of tea. Mm. That's a good one. Yes. 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 Good cup of tea. Let's draw a cup yes. of tea, shall we? Yeah, I'll just sketch out a few things and then maybe go ahead and colour some. Okay. Yeah, I like that doggy. Yeah, it's there's something a bit cute... odd, odd about him. I think his ears maybe, but um, I'm gonna I'm just drawing as quickly as possible so we can get as many things in. Oh, I think it's cute. <laughs> I like it yeah, actually, much. this is this is one of the things that I find um, people enjoy about uh, my illustrations um, when I add little pets in i think people are just like animal lovers at heart yeah and um so if i'm drawing a lot of people i'll often just add a cat or a dog and they'll usually have a thought bubble and then i think that sometimes Mm. adds some humor as well yes yes maybe i'll do that here as well what should you be thinking i love your work i'm going to put that out there actually i do absolutely love your work i'm always oh thank you like the the concept or the or the style or both oh thank you both so there you go that's something that occasionally brings joy to my day oh like other when you make work. a post oh I, d- I don't i haven't done one in a little while actually i like all your i like all of your relationship things they're cool you had one last week didn't you wasn't there one last week yes um so that was a charity i work with quite a lot so they're called the vaginismus network yes and they do great work around yeah. spreading awareness yes uh, yes yes i saw that it was good thank you Kirsty, <laughs> Kirsty says, "It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm divided between a, a couple of screens here." No, of uh, course. Kirsty no, right. is uh, saying not having to charge my phone at the end of the day. That's kind of <gasps> yeah. yes. I know. I know that feeling. Like, oh, actually, it can last overnight, and it's you know, mm. haven't, used, haven't used it I too much today. <laughs> that the alarm you set is actually stands a much much increased chance of actually going off. But there you go. Yes. <laughs> It's a bit of a danger, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's only happened to me one time. Uh, and I I try to never let that happen ever again. Were you awake for the Adobe Live that day? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I normally, I could, I'm normally up when most people are asleep, uh, Hazel, to be ah, honest. I get so... up around quarter past four. <gasps> oh, so... okay. So you are the definition of an early bird. Yes, I normally start work around about five, maybe sometimes a little bit after. Well, they say the most successful people do, don't they? I I didn't realise. I always thought I was a night owl. 
until I started. It, actually, it was someone at Adobe. Before I even joined Adobe, um, when I was working as a, a, a UGM, that's a user group manager. So that's like a contractor thing. And somebody there said about getting up and cycling at five o'clock in the morning. And I thought, you know yeah. what, I'm, I'm going to try it. And I, I did. And, and it, never looked back. Never looked back. Yeah. Oh. I thought, actually, I'm a morning person. Maybe you just have to try it and then you can, mm. you can become a morning person. Because I'm usually sort of eight o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Eight o'clock is nice for me. Yeah. Oh, so you've already had half your day today then. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do that saucer again. I have a nice long break in the afternoon as well, most days. Do you have a nap? I, I've i tried that, but it just makes me grouchy. <laughs> so you just so, sort of stay up to the, to the end of the day? Yeah. I just, well, I just, I just go into a sort of low power mode for a bit in the afternoon. That oh. brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> low power mode. Low it's, power mode. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah. Okay, but hang on, I've a... lost track. Like, uh, what was the one before? What Which? Kirsty said. Oh, the um, bar of chocolate, cup of tea. Bar of chocolate. Oh. Finding a bar of chocolate that you didn't know you had. That was Sandrine, I think. Oh, or a hidden bar of chocolate. Yes. In a cupboard. Kirsty saying, having a tidy desktop. Oh, yes. That doesn't last very long, actually, for me. Playing ukulele, says Melanie. Melanie, do you play ukulele oh, as well? Yeah. Excellent. We've got quite a few ukulele players. Yeah, I've got there. I've got quite a few ukuleles. <laughs> 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 I've got my favourite one is it's too far away for me to grab it, but it's a Fender Strat ukulele. So the Fender Stratocaster is a well-known uh, guitar, but it's from Fender, and it's got. It's shaped exactly like a Stratocaster, even with the sunburst on the body. And it's got an auto tuner built in. <gasps> Not an auto tuner, but a tuner built in, Ooh. which saves me clipping anything to the headstock. That sounds very, very techy as well. It's nice. It's nice. Do you enjoy your, your tech generally? Yeah. Yeah, I do. As long as it's working for me and not the other way around. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Angus is impressed that you're doing this without visual reference. Oh, I'm doing it with re visual reference. I've got my phone here. There you go. See, <laughs> Angus's world just as, as imploded now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to have visual reference. Um, I'm unfortunately not someone that can draw very well from imagination and memory, so I always. Um, I can't remember who 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 said. There was a famous quote about not being out. Sandrine's going to chip this in in a minute. I just know she is. <laughs> the Because um, she's super good with that sort of stuff. But there was a famous quote about you can't draw what you haven't seen. <gasps> mm. I'm trying to remember who said that. Ooh, I'm actually not bad with drawing without reference. You know, most of the time I can sketch. Oh, I am. Um, I am jealous of people that are like that, actually. Mm. You just have a ridiculously good imagination. I don't know about mine being ridiculously good, but I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. It's there. It's functioning. <laughs> oh, Evie's just found a, a bar of chocolate in her house called Tony's. It must be mine. Is that Tony's Chocolate Only by any chance? That's the... Uh... Ooh. Sandrine lo loves... Ma oh, Gareth mentioned Maine Coons. And a ragdoll and Sandrine's. I love Maine Coons too. Have you seen those? Coons, the They're cats. big cats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I so Maine want one. But I'd run the risk of it eating one of our other cats. So it's a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe especially if it hasn't met them already. Or yeah, I mean they can cat. get mahusive. But I think in our in our house it would just be it would just be cuddled so much it wouldn't fancy. Doing oh, that. it would it would have so. enough love. <laughs> yes. Emma's in the chat as well. Hello, hello. Hi, oh. Huamenta. And she's saying it's so nice to have you back, Hazel. Oh yes. I'm I'm really happy to be back. I've been meaning to reach out to Adobe for a little while, but I've been working yeah. on a big, big project. So I haven't had much time. But then mm. um 
Melanie reached out to me and yes. invited me back. So I thought, oh, I can't say no. That is, yeah, I've been missing everyone. Yes, so, we've been you missing you too. Thank you. So, yes. <laughs> uh, and Emma is also saying uh, happy World Mental Health Day, which we were talking about yeah. in the green room before we got started. So, yes, nice. happy yes. World, World Mental Health Day to everyone. I yes. hope, hope everyone is in good mental health right now. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> was that before or after? This is Tim. Was that before or after your career as a lighthouse keeper? Oh, Tim. That's when he was when I was talking about being a UGM. Oh. Uh, point to note: never been a lighthouse keeper. <laughs> Cycle at five a.m. must have been Emma. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Ooh, Stuart has a twenty-eight minute nap. Really, like twenty-eight. That's very, very precise. Was it meant to be 25 and then it's just sort of an extra extra few uh, minutes tacked on or there is a that there nap? is a, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> there is a there is a thing where um I mean anything you do for like three weeks or so be becomes a habit. Tony's jockey. <laughs> yeah, that's Thank Tony's you. Struggle, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cupboard. I love it. <laughs> the um yeah, there is a thing. If you do anything for more than three weeks, I think it is, it's uh becomes a habit. Ah, okay. But you can... I, I don't know if I'd want to try the five o'clock cycle. Maybe I'll just try getting up at five o'clock. That could be help helpful. I used to find so I don't I don't really cycle at five a I should cycle at five AM these days, but it's five AM is a good time because uh the roads are gonna be quieter. Yes, that yeah. is true. You've got that whole, th you know, I mean, obviously pick a route where if anything did happen, you wouldn't just be there on your own. Um, but it's a good time. It's a time when, you know, you, you, your brain can just work through everything, sort your day out. I used to find I had lots of ideas. I used to love it. When I, lived I was in just going to say I did it every day, even when it was icy. Uh, is that where some of your best ideas came from? Well, early morning cycling? Yeah. Yes. Some sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I suppose because also you're sort of thinking about cycling and then your mind can just sort of wander um, freely. Uh, and even if you're not, I always find it, even if I'm not particularly thinking, oh, what, what's this idea going to be? Mm. That's when it sort of comes to me when I'm, and it's just in the back of my brain and doing something either a bit boring or just in the shower or something. That's when so it strikes. Many I used to go to a martial arts academy called the Progressive Combat Institute when I was in my early 20s. Yeah. And everybody there read Krishnamurti, who was a, an Indian uh, philosopher, um, mm -hmm. including myself. I read it as well because he just did. People talked <laughs> about it. And um, that he, he said inside one of his texts that whenever you and, – and it's not unique in this. Other people have said similar things, but – if you have a problem that you need to think through, what you should do is walk away from the problem mm. because as, the more you stare at it, the less you're likely to achieve a solution because your brain doesn't want your brain's a very powerful thing. And uh, and Sandrine, by the way, says it was Claude Monet who said that Claude you can't draw it's never that down. So there you go. Um, also, we've got a couple more things here. So, uh, Emma is saying about uh, find, getting something in the post. Getting something nice in the post that you didn't expect. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Should we do that? Fresh bed sheets. Oh, yes. Yes, that's my first one I did, actually. It is. It Clean is. sheets. Clean yes. sheets. Yes, with a blue teddy. I like the blue teddy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he was just... Yes. Go on. Sorry. No, he was just, uh, it was, he was just blue because that was the colour scheme I was, I was going for. I that's nice. Add a little bit blue. We have a pink one on our bed. Oh, I've got my um, old old bear that i've had since i was one have you really yeah yeah i was in my 30s before i got my first teddy bear oh. and when a friend of mine found out i didn't have a teddy as a child she bought me a teddy bear that i could carry me as little i've still got it it's only about that high <laughs> but Wait, have, where is um, he now he's in the house and sat on a shelf oh. the um, <laughs> <laughs> but the um i, I kind of don't need a teddy 
but we have a breast cancer one on the bed. It's pink because my, my wife is a breast cancer survivor. Oh, uh, that's lovely. 12 years now, actually. That's yeah. amazing. Wow. 13 years. Thank you. Yeah. But we have a, a pink breast cancer teddy on the bed. General Kenobi in the house. Hello. Oh, it's busy here. Oh, Sean just went car shopping. Not good mental health right now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, hear that. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get anything? Uh, I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to let him walk away from that problem and look at something else, like your lovely drawing. <laughs> I won't draw a car today, then. No. Having just Probably one does. single revision on a drawing that you're working on, that's that's another one from Sandrine. <laughs> Evie's saying, have you drawn her cupboard? <laughs> there you go. Here we go. This no. is a nice little package. Yes. Who said that? The, um, who said the em package? Emma. Emma. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Pip in the chat saying, getting the buzz on your wrist when you hit your step target. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hitting your step target. That's that's a good one. Emma hadn't spotted the sheets, but she's seen them. <laughs> and now, so. it's a popular, Waking up before your alarm. Suggestion. Oh, that was the thing I was going to say. You can actually, the last thing I look at is a clock before I go to sleep. Mm. And I tell myself that I'm going to wake up at a certain time. And do you know what? Quite often I, I am awake before the alarm goes off. I wasn't this morning. Yeah. No, me neither. I, I had a bit of a lie in today because it was rainy uh, and I didn't fancy, didn't fancy getting up straight away. <laughs> Oh, here, here we go. go. Here's one I drew earlier. Waking up long before the alarm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I like it when you've got sneaked content. Uh, yeah, content. I love it. Let me do a different um, font. I was like, I can't come on here and use that font because I'll get I'll get ripped to, to shreds. <laughs> I like dancing around the house when there's no one in it. Oh, yeah. I, I like singing. I like singing in my car, actually. Mm. Well, I don't have a car anymore. When I used to have a car. Yes. That was one of my favorite things to do. Um, dancing in the house. Let's draw that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm just thinking to myself. <laughs> finding a fiver in your birthday card from your grandma. People shouldn't send cash through the post. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I still get um checks from my granny actually. Do you? Does anyone yeah, and so I have to go to the bank and Oh, I yeah. I mean it's slightly easier now. You can pay in checks through most ATMs, can't you? They give you a photo receipt, but it's still a pain. I get I have one <laughs> one organization that sends me checks and it annoys me <laughs> do they send it on time uh yes okay that's yeah. that's one good thing yes i can yeah i'm kind of lucky with that that score and long may it continue that i am um, i'm quite strict with my conditions so Oh, that's good. Do you have a clause in your contract? Yeah, so I don't says... release any rights on anything at yeah. all. They have, they have rights, uh, and and also, if I wanted to be really draconian about it, they could renegotiate the rights if I haven't done something on time. So, oh, so if if they haven't, so done if they don't pay on time, on time yeah. the rights that were agreed previously avoid. Oh, yeah. this is good. This is good. So they're void, and uh, they then have to renegotiate, which may involve a further fee. <laughs> oh, I love it. So that's a really, yeah, that's a really good idea. I just have um, oh, I can't remember what it is, but uh, like interest per day. Oh yeah, yeah, no, extra, that as well. So, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. At two percent over the base rate, I think, yeah. is is on mine. So, but I don't think I've ever actually charged anybody that nine times out of ten 
it's a it's some sort of error yeah like give the benefit of the doubt yeah, sometimes yeah even i give them a few days it's not like <laughs> <laughs> straight away you know so I'm, right that's it <laughs> Just here's an email. I'm withdrawing your rights to reproduce this work. <laughs> Are you working no, for no rights at all? <laughs> Are you working for anyone interesting right now? Though I'm doing some work with the division of Xerox oh. right now. Are you allowed is... to say say what, or is it? Uh, I can actually say oh. uh, say some of some of what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm working with a division. Uh, so, so it's a division within a division. There is a division called Care AR, um, and they have uh, a company called XM Pi in there, and it's variable publishing, super cool. And so I'm working with them. I'm actually speaking. Uh, I'm on their booth. I'm doing two sessions on their booth at, at Max. And wow. also, I'm doing a webinar for them on the 25th of October, which you can join. They have got a short extract from my forthcoming book uh, that you can get at Max. Amazing. Oh, wow. You're well. really busy with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yes. And I solved a problem for them this morning that they have had for absolutely years. And couldn't. I was feeling very, very cocky. <laughs> are, you, are you allowed to share that? I can't tell you exactly what the problem was, really, because <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to cause anybody any oh, yeah. any embarrassment, of course. But the um, but yeah, it was a problem, and they told me that this thing had to be done a particular way. And I said, um, "Well, no," <laughs> <laughs> and showed them. They're lovely, uh, and and I'm working with I'm working with two people specifically, both of whom are lovely. One I've known a little while really um i've been trying to get me to work with them for a long time but i'm very happy that i actually am now so sometimes it just takes a little while to get it going it or does. find the right project well I, I, it was time that was the constraint before because they needed a certain investment from me in time and it just wasn't wasn't available so But no, they're lovely. So I'm working with them. That's good. That's taking up uh, all of my time until uh, Friday uh, when everything should be, well, will be finished. There's no should about it. will be finished. <laughs> it has um, to be. It has to be because I'm on a plane on Saturday. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going on Saturday? LA. Oh, for Max. For Max. Yes. It's crept up on us. It has. Well, that's exciting. Yes. Are you going to be doing streams as well over? I am week? doing. Uh, I've got a thing on for Adobe Live on one of the days. So what's new thing? Uh, hope Emma's not going to tell me off now if I'm leaking content. Don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't tell me off anyway. Uh, and I've got uh, five labs that I'm running, which is good. So that's nice. It's all good fun. Amazing. Mm. And I think this is my ninth yeah. Max, I think. How long has it been going, actually? Oh, Max has been going yeah. for donkey's years. I mean, originally it was a flash-based thing before um, a long time ago. It used to take place in Barcelona uh, oh. before it became the thing it is now and then when adobe acquired macromedia they also acquired the rights to the max thing and they changed it and thought well why do we make it just about that let's make it and there used to be it started out in europe initially as well mm. it wasn't an american it thing just grew america. yeah it just grew until it was humongous and emma is saying in the chat we'll be doing a live from la with tony you will ah. excited so you'll be there in the in the sun I'll be in a little nice room sunny. with a lovely guy <laughs> called Paco, actually, <laughs> ah. <laughs> who'll be uh, <laughs> who'll be making all of this stuff happen. <laughs> and uh, if you're watching Paco, that there you go, there's news for you. Now you got back off your holiday, <laughs> <laughs> an exclusive. <laughs> uh, uh, San uh, Sandrine spelling Max the old way it was spelled with two X's. Oh, yes, on there. 
Max Europe. Uh, well, we do have Max Europe, but we need a Max Europe in person. So we've got there is geo specific content for Max here in the Europe's. So geo specific. That sounded really like <laughs> corporate, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you use um so when you're coloring up stuff, do you use like yeah, the reference sorry. do you use the reference layer feature to have you tried that? I have actually. Um yeah. this is this is something new from uh last time. Yeah. You've seen me because I mm. always uh like color in. But yeah. yes, I've just discovered the reference layer and it's ah. so so much more uh quick. Yes. Yeah. It's very, uh, very good. Let's do it now with a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the same Tony on the beach. Paco can <laughs> fix anything, says Sean. Paco's amazing. He's not quite Tim, but he's he's like very close. <laughs> <laughs> We've got someone in the chat called Comic Sans is the best. <laughs> well, there's a debate that, that no doubt will rage for, for absolutely hours. Adobe should buy a plane, call it Adobe Max Air, and then fly it everywhere. That'd be a great way to meet a Max. Yeah, it would. I like that. <laughs> yeah that first great, macrame actually. here you are oh, and well. oliver who definitely did not look this up just now by the way yeah yeah she said the first macromedia max was in 2003 wow i was a mac that, that was new 20 Adobe. yeah yeah 20 years ago then it was yes oh i wonder if they're gonna do anything Big for 20 years. Ooh, who knows? That would be, be interesting. There's a couple of birthdays coming up, I think, for Adobe staff, I think. Yes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Tim will pop in the chat if there's any Adobe birthdays coming up. Isn't After Effects having a birthday next year? I can't remember now. Oh. Let's just Pretty make sure, sure those is. lines, make sure those lines are joined up. There's a certain element of gap oh, detection in it, though, isn't there, with the reference layer thing, because you can there you is. can tune it, which go. is yeah, sweet. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice, it's working. Yeah, that color <laughs> margin thing is wicked. Really good. It saves so Ooh. much time. You get to a point and then it goes like, right, okay, well, if you want these gaps filled and fill in that. And now this massive one that's called the page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the there's Yeah, the yeah there's, there, there's that, there's that, yeah. It's, it's just that there's no and there's no middle ground, right? Yeah, is there? It's not like it's suddenly <laughs> It doesn't go like, oh, I'm gently filtering outside of this. <laughs> and then be, it's like boof page. It's that do it yourself. No, well, I mean, I'm, it's, done. I'm not knocking it. It's super. No, clever. it's it's saving me a lot of time, actually. Yep. There we go. Ooh, lovely cup of tea. Yes. But so, think, Hazel, oh, tea, yes. tea or coffee? Oh, Oh, coffee, 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 yeah. coffee. Yes, definitely. One one cup every day. I try and stick to that. Do you? Yeah. I've got I've had, one, I've had one cup when I've been awake for <laughs> maybe seven or eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> maybe slightly longer than that. I'll, I'll have one cup before I go anywhere near anything else. <laughs> what um Oh no, there we go. There's my line yeah. work being a bit shoddy again. <laughs> go on, you were going to ask something. I was going to ask what sort of strength coffee is this a bit too milky? Uh, I don't have I don't have milk in, oh, okay. uh, so in my coffee. My, mine's yeah. Okay. Mine's just I have milk in tea, oat milk. Ah. It's got a bit of a different like slightly different flavour, oat milk. Yeah, I've been drinking well, it for a long time. It. I love it. There's um there's a fantastic thing on um, TEDx, TED Talks, TED mm -hmm. Channel, which is another area that we've crossed over on uh, before. I still don't yes, know what's we going did, on with that particular thing. We did, yeah. The um, but Ted Ed have um, 
have a really cool movie about milk. Oh. And in it, they they discuss just how much milk, how much water goes into the production of milk. Ah, because some that you think, oh, that would be really good for, um, mm. or like it's just really good for the planet. It's actually a lot of water. Yeah, Al- so almond milk or something. Almond milk, exactly. Yeah, almond milk. Those trees require constant watering. Mm. So they do it. They the way they express it is by uh, equating water to a glass of milk. How much water goes into a glass of milk? And oat milk is is one of the ones that fares the best uh from from that um in the, it's it's the least water consumed rice milk mm. is a bit more cow's milk is 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 humongous really yeah yeah okay interesting i think oat milk um tastes the nicest as well yeah, out of all I, the alternative like ones mm. um, someone was telling me the other day about pea milk that made out of peas yeah 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 yeah, yeah, so there's a brand that. there's a brand called Wonder um that do pea milk here. And it's peas are amazing. Peas are incredible as a as a food and as a as a as a resource. I quite like mushy um, peas. I like mushy peas. Mushy peas. Yes. <laughs> uh I'm just trying to bring up uh, a thing here about how much milk. Wow. Cows consume 30 to 50 gallons of water every day to make milk. So that's the thing that comes into the equation for how much water. I just, the the thing that the Ted Ed talk uh, brings it down to, to how much per pint of glass. And it is something crazy. It's like 190 liters or something to uh, don't quote me on that, but it's, it's quite hefty. Wow, is um, it a is it a talk or is it one of those? Um, like no, it's one of those talk? animations. Oh, oh, I love those. So yeah, good. so we have um, Chris Chris Vigant, who's who used to work with me on on uh, on a couple of Adobe Live things. Uh, not not this Adobe Live, but Adobe Live for business. And Chris has been a guest on the German stream. She's a director and animator. Um, oh, fantastic she has done lots and lots of animations for ted ed uh, oh. and i think when of, one of the sessions she did on adobe live and also there was um oh there was another guest of ours oh, just, name escapes me just just for the minute um who worked with chris and it was an animation of life beneath the sea which was super fun and good. I love those animations. But yeah, it's, it's all about milk and it's fantastic. Um there's whole lot there's you know, there's tons and tons of different things that go into how how environmentally cool uh, milk is or not, depending on <laughs> depending on which one. <laughs> it just it's a complex, complex old argument. Uh Sandrine's tested all of them, and oat is my favorite. Give peas a chance. No, I will. I don't know where to, where to get it from, though. I only heard about oh, it the other day. Your your regular supermarket stocks it. Just look, look. for a look Ooh. for a blue. So they have a blue and a red uh, carton. No, uh, I, will. I, I, I will. I don't think they're the only one. I think there's also. I've definitely seen another vendor with pea milk, but yeah, peas are, are epic. Oh, and Sandrine's tried the whipped oat cream from Oatly. Yeah, that is nice. Whip it real good. It even says that <laughs> on the side of the carton. That is a great brand. Whip it, <laughs> whip it, real, whip good. it real good. <laughs> uh, and Stuart said about the uh, give peas a chance. Wasn't that on a flyover on the M25? Yes, it was. It was just on the clockwise direction when you were coming up from Uxbridge. <laughs> I used to see it every day. Oh, you're not joking. No, 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 no. Give oh, Peas wow. a chance was painted on there. There's a there's a graffiti artist called Peas. Oh. And he actually painted Give Peas a Chance. Oh, that's on good. That bridge. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sandrine's saying this post is not endorsed by Oatly. Yeah, we ought to this isn't a paid promotion. We're not <laughs> 
We're just talking oat milk. <laughs> Next, uh, well, tomorrow he might be seeing a sponsored post. Like, this yeah. Is, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> this exactly is paid by Oatly. Up on <laughs> I, 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 I see your backgrounds are lovely even. Oh, thank you. So I do enjoy a bit of a gradient. I just think it's a bit of fun. Mm. And... Uh, I've tried doing them in, in Photoshop and they, you know, they work fine, but I just enjoy sort of splashing do, a bit of colour on myself. Yeah. Do you use Illustrator go. just out of out of interest? I don't, but I think it's because when I took my course, I think it was mm. 2016, I took the course in it and I just found yeah. it because I'd been used to Photoshop. I just found mm. it so different, but I think I was watching some videos and actually things look a lot easier to do now. Mm. So I think I should give it another, give and it so another you, chance. You'd love the free form gradients. I think you would really enjoy Ooh. those. Yes. Um, Evie, by the way, is saying uh, Moma oat milk for me, nicer than Oatly and also less controversial. I didn't realize there was controversy with Oatly. What is this? I think I live in a cave. Oh. <laughs> No, there was something with Oatly, but I can't remember what exactly. But oh, well, I remember we'll they got into trouble a little bit. Yeah, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll look at that independently, and we won't discuss that on the stream. But the uh, yeah. oh wow, um, <laughs> good idea, good idea. Yes, <laughs> steer away from yes, controversy. <laughs> yes, yes, get not, back, not get a back to joy, joyful yes. things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a successful dunk is a thing of joy. Oh yeah. Dunk in a biscuit yes. and not having half of it drop off in your tea. Oh, let's add that to the tea. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, just biscuits generally. Just put biscuits on. <laughs> There's going to be a biscuit appreciation post. I there think. is. <laughs> okay, so favourite biscuit then, Hazel? I, th I don't think you can go wrong with a chocolate digestive, a dark chocolate digestive. Yeah. Is that boring? I like those. No. Is it boring? No. What's yours? I do like a dark, dark trust, but hobnobs. I like the hobnobs. I probably yeah. have a better dunk as well. Yeah, and there's a a biscuit. I've not seen it in the UK, but I in Spain, it's called diete, and I really like those choco leibniz. Oh, they're nice. Oh, yes, they're like a special fancy one you get for Christmas. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> and biscotti, also nice. Oh, oh yes. Oh, you make me hungry now. <laughs> I think I think actually I've got one last chocolate digestive in my packet. Do you? Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't the brush I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> this, That's kind of a bit crazy. <laughs> this is not the brush you are looking for. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit of a wash. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was uh in the summer, the summer pack. I think it's called Summer Wash. What's it yeah. called? Summer, summer Wash. So I'm assuming it's the summer pack, but I actually quite like those little watercolory, grainy, washy. Yeah. She looks. Yeah, that's quite nice. All right, I'm going to leave the background as it is and draw a biscuit. Oh. Oh. Yes. Where have we got to? Have we got any more? Uh, we're well, talking biscuits now. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad <laughs> that's not a bad conversation for a, for a stream. The mighty chocolate hobnob, the candy sugar ones you get in cafes. Ooh. Uh, Comic Sans is the best. <laughs> I'm not saying that anymore, by the way. I'm just going to say <laughs> comic from now on, just so you know. <laughs> Oreo, Pepito, Prince the Lou, Granola. You're just Wikipedia-ing biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Belgian biscuits. Become a be a bit more specific than Belgian. Oh, Kirsty, now you are talking to a biscuit lover. <laughs> uh, oh, collaborating with... Oh, man. This is a dig at me. I love what? it, though. Collaborating with said. other artists and everyone delivers on time. Who is that a dig from? Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Was this the three months later comment earlier? Yeah, well, 
yeah, I wish it was only three months. Tim's been waiting on some on something we're collaborating on. Tim's been waiting for more than a year. <laughs> but, and it will get done. It will get done. It's just been been hard to. <laughs> But we're good. Tim, I can see the light of the tunnel looming large right now. <laughs> Speculos. Ah. Oh. And Tim says we'll have to renegotiate the usage rights. <laughs> oh, feel dizzy. Right. <laughs> We've come full circle. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sean says it's been so no, I don't think you're going to get this reference at all Hazel but okay. it's, uh, some of the, com the community will be uh, Sean has just said it's been so long the wall is no longer on the floor now actually Sean I've got to be honest the wall isn't on the floor anymore because we closed the video studio at the end of uh, July mm -hmm. and the wall on the floor despite me advertising it on um, there's a there's a facebook site for um set and prop makers and i advertised it on there but nobody picked it up i got rid of one sheet of wall on the floor the rest of it went in the skip unfortunately but it had nowhere else to go uh, at first i thought you were talking about a game of thrones wall or something no 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 so we had <laughs> um so in a couple of the sets we built in my we, uh, we had a video studio and we closed it at the end of uh july uh, and relocate and well we didn't relocate the video studio that's all gone into a container the stuff we're keeping and then we'll just rent places as and when we need them um but we had we had pl plaster casts of actual walls that we would glue onto the flats so we created created fake walls oh so and the walls we had were the same ones that we used in the first film, Kingsman and the Secret Service. So exactly the same moulds. So, and Sean's going, no! Is that no? Because, because we shut the video studio. Oh. <laughs> the Mauritian biscuit market have been taken over by the French company. Yeah, right. Ah, I see. I'll be in Mauritius next year. Oh, oh! You're traveling a lot. Uh, my 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 lovely Sharon is doing a whole thing for me at the moment. Where we just we were in Lanzarote uh, a couple of weeks ago. She's in Tenerife now. She'll be on her way back later today. Actually, um, we were in Lanzarote because that's the first place we went on holiday together. Oh. And next year we're okay. going to Mauritius because that's where we got married. Is so, it a special special anniversary? Uh oh. it is. So yes. But it's very cute. She's doing these these little things. Oh, it is. Sounds like she's good at good at gifts. She is good at gifts. She is. Facebook site for walls. Yeah, Oliver, honestly, there is a Facebook site for all that stuff. Party rings, yes. Oh, are they party rings, Kirsty? Are they the ones that are like iced? They've got that that sugar coating stuff on. <laughs> anything with yeah. icing sugar, oh uh, yeah, is yeah. Anything with icing sugar on top gets the ban in this house. That's sad because I like the wall on the floor album, but the wall on the floor album is still there, Kirsty. It's just that the actual wall on the floor is gone. The song is still there. Have you heard our song <laughs> "Wall on the Floor"? I don't think so, no. Oh. Can, See, can we now who lives in a cave? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I need to catch up on everything. <laughs> so Tim and I uh, recorded uh, a couple of songs, one of which was called Wall on the Floor, uh, and another one was called uh, Give You an Inch. And then we've got three others in the works at the moment. But the only thing that's wow. stopping those things coming out for the enjoyment of the Adobe Live community is some beardy guy called Tony, who's just been really busy with doing like actual oh, yeah. work. Just too busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Kirsty saying, wait, hold on, Tony. Did you just that, say those walls on the floor were used in the King, Kingsman film and Secret Service? Yes. They were the same, not the not the ones, same ones they used in their set, because that set still exists, I believe. Um, but at the same moulds, yes. It was a Flemish old bond, uh, old, yeah, Flemish, old stock Flemish bond brick. So they were lovely. And she's saying, yes, it's icing coating. Where can we find that song on Spotify? You can't find it on Spotify yet. We've got to finish the rest of that album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I want to get these three out of the way by the end of the year. Then we can, uh, I've got until once Max is done and whatever, I've got until the, around about March. For until loads you... of song making stuff. I want to do oranges are frustrating next. That's our next <laughs> song. That sounds great. Are you going to enter it into Eurovision? We'd we'd stand a good chance, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Be very good. So Tim's on the ukulele. Tim's on that everything that isn't everything. singing, <laughs> <laughs> and even he even manages to throw in a bit of that as well. We could release a Most teaser EP talented. first. Oh, that wall on the floor EP. Uh, do you know what? That's not a bad idea, Oliver. Tim and I <laughs> shall discuss this on Wednesday. Are you going to be doing the album art as well? Yeah, we did it on. Oh. Um, we did it on did it? on oh, Adobe amazing. Live. Yeah. This is how much it. I've been in a cave recently. Yeah. <laughs> With the um, octopus cat. <laughs> Sandrine says I'll get two points. <laughs> Two Thanks. points from Sandrine. Well, that's more than the UK used to get from, you know, <laughs> until that's last true. year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, um, actually amazing. did something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Evie's saying, can I just talk about resizing in fresco? My pixel drawings become more pixelated when I move them with the transform tool. Is that supposed to be happen? Isn't it only temporary, though, Evie? Don't they just look pixelated while you're transforming and then when you apply the transform, they go back to being not pixely? It sounds... I... Ah, uh, 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 are you on Windows, Evie? Thinking about it. Are you using Fresco on Windows? That is my question. Hmm. Should I try right now? Yeah, go, go ahead. I'm going to... Pl- Comb my beard contemplatively. <laughs> there you go. Let's make him really tall. It's very good. That actually does look a little bit like me, you know. Not not as when you zoom I, out, I, um, you see the whole the body. Beard. No, no, no. <laughs> should I add more of a beard? No, uh, no. This one, most of this is coming off tomorrow morning. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> for I, Max. I was no, I was teasing my well, yes, also because it's got too big. I was kept teasing my wife saying, I'm not gonna I'm never gonna cut my beard ever again. Oh. So I want to look like Santa by Christmas. <laughs> but actually, I don't I don't want to look like Santa by Christmas anymore. <laughs> no, I think you get stopped in the street too much. Yes. <laughs> People saying, Where's my present? And they say, Yeah. Not the right person to ask that question to. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think it's just been stretched a little bit too much. Yeah. I mean, if you upscale anything, yeah. then you're going to expect pixelation in there. But I mean, yeah. if. Uh... Yeah, that is that is the one reason I think, or maybe, I mean, either switching to the vector brushes or um, switching to Illustrator. Yes. That will solve the problem. Um, so I usually just try and roughly work out the sizing before starting. Mm-hmm. starting something and then worst case scenario i will redraw it all again <laughs> you know <Yeah. laughs> if they want it completely Just, you know, resized but... <laughs> exactly yes um yeah. comic by the way coming up with uh, <laughs> a fun fact about oranges when they're not yet ripe and still green they're still called oranges mm. interesting that, that yeah green yeah. is the complementary of orange in yes. the digital wheel i think yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's not. No, it's a near neighbour. It's in the artist wheel. Then it's. Yeah. What have we got? Blue. 
blue. Yeah, I mean, digital slightly different. Yeah, I mean, the, the digital wheel, which is the one you've got there, is very different with red at zero degrees and cyan at uh, 180 degrees. So that's not the same as the artist wheel, which in which green would shift around a little bit. So green would be the exact complementary of red. Oh, yeah. I actually n- never noticed that as mm, a yeah, digital because, wheel. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So it's because that, that's using projected light, whereas the artist color wheel is using subtractive uh, color because you start mm-hmm. out with white and then you subtract from it by painting color on top of it. Really Another fun fact from Tony: Subscribe, yes. four ninety nine a week. <laughs> no, that's really interesting. I'm going to hold on to that little bit of knowledge. I want Tim to be the co-anchor. I'm I'm starting a new podcast, and I want Tim to be the co-anchor on it. I'm trying to persuade him gently, with not that he's That'd got be amazing. Hasn't got many many other things to do. <laughs> then we can have you on as a guest. It'd be excellent. Oh yeah, count me yeah. in definitely. Yes. Would it be uh, withdrawing as well, or sort of just no, uh, talking? No, just just general talking, chit-chat. singing, yeah, musical, everything. It'd be everything. Anywhere there's a question that needs needs answering, that's that's where it's coming from. Do you have a a name for it yet? Yes, but I'm not telling you because someone else will bag it. <laughs> someone would steal it before the first episode's in the. Oh in yeah, the definitely keep that. Yeah. keep that under wraps, but um. I'm assuming yeah. it's a good creative fun one then. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, where's the time gone? I've just realized. I know. We, we are just about really a minute well. out from natural time. Of course, you have like a good five minutes or so if you need it on top. Or taking a lift li- <laughs> a lift a leaf out of Liz Mosley's book. We could crack on till half past if you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just a point to note, we can't crack on till half past. No, I mean, I would stay here all day, to be honest. Uh, me too. And you, usually an uh, illustration will take me at least a day to, or two. Yeah. Usually yeah. three, actually. One day I'm sort of thinking the ideas. One day I'm sketching and the next day I'm colouring. I always underestimate mm. how long colouring takes. Colouring is and a like skill. like shading, yeah. Yeah. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's a skill. That's why in comic books it used to be, well, still is a completely yeah, separate definitely. job. Colorist. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. enjoy it though because I'll just watch some TV and then. Um, I mean, this stream, it. as far as I'm concerned, could go on for the entire rest of the day. I'm <laughs> so happy. <laughs> You've brought joy to my day. There you go. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I think this piece in general just brings me joy. I think mm. put it up in the, put it up in the flat. Yes. Evie just asking, will we get smart objects for Fresco? Who knows? Possibly. Smart objects kind of could do, you know, could exist in there, I guess. Oliver saying, new podcast, cool. It will be cool. It'll be fun. And it'll be me and Tim. Well, Tim and I. Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> this is the first Tim knows about it, but. Uh... <laughs> He's been roped into it. Yes. <laughs> uh evie says everything i love subjects and ufos paranormal philosophy and lucid dreaming yeah that's just episode one (laughs) and uh if i have my way just like my old podcast the vector generians will be joined by adobe sensei from time to time (laughs) i used to have a podcast with dave clayton called uh vector generians oh really yeah and we used to we used to treat uh sensei as if Sensei was the HAL computer from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And say, I want to remove the background. You can't do that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, now you can. Sensei would be like Adobe Express. Yeah, I'll remove the background. But no, it's silly things like that. But anyway. <laughs> right, oh, I yeah. guess what, what? we ought to start to, to wrap this up. Much All as right, I'm loath um... to do so. Yeah, end this on Emma's parcel. Oh, look, it's even got an Emma tag on it. Oh, I've oh, got Tony it... chocolate and an Emma parcel. Oh, it would have been fun, actually, to open it up and animate it, and then it's a special present for Emma. Oh. <gasps> there's new we stuff. We can imagine it. There's new animation stuff, by the way, in Fresco to explore. Yes, I had a little yeah. uh, look at what was going on. You can mm. shrink 
yep print things across paths now as well yeah. but yeah it's very good we'll get an yeah. anima animation expert on for, for that it's one getting very very clever i like it exciting yes exciting stuff anyway hazel it has been a joy it has actually I it's I mean felt really chilled yes nice what a great start to the week uh, here on a daily live course always plenty more content coming up that i'm supposed to have on a screen just to the side of me <laughs> got it there so uh anyway check the uh check the page on the <laughs> answer.net slash adobe live thank you so much to everybody who's joined us today i hope we've brought some joy into your lives as well and that uh, that feeling continues for the rest of the week thanks again hazel really lovely of i course. hope it's not too thank long you. before we do this again Be yeah thank you for great. having me back Lots it's of fun. wonderful wonderful having you here okay everyone take good care now and uh join us tomorrow at midday see you later bye bye